Hello everybody, welcome again. So in this video, I will discuss the question from 34 to 70 or 71 and all this question has been taken from your 2003 question paper for West Bengal Public Service Commission examination for recruitment of assistant engineer. Okay, so let's start the very first one. Providing cut of wall beneath a hydraulic structure reduces the exit gradient, of course yes, increase the flow, decrease the flow, increase the exit gradient. No, reduce the exit gradient. Okay, if this is the hydraulic structure, let's say this is dam, this is upstream water level, this is downstream water level. If you provide a cut like this, okay, cut of walls, of course the water have to percolate like this. And due to this long path, of course, your head reduced and the hydraulic gradient also reduced. Next question, chemically marble, marble rock or marble stone normally composed of calcium carbonate. So this is chemically calcareous and it is a metamorphic rock, but that is not your chemical property. The question is chemically marble is so answer is calcareous. Settling velocity of discrete particle in water follows, of course, Stokes law, very easy one. The quantity of liquid waste which flows in sewers during the period of rainfall is known as your storm sewage. This is not storm, this is storm. Okay. Spores are provided to train the flow of a river along a specified course. This is also very easy one. Next. The canal has to irrigate 12,000 hectare. Okay, so area is your 12,000 hectare, and duty is given as 1000 hectare per cubic cubic. I think this is cubic, okay, meter cube per second. So this is given as 1000. This is duty. And for what discharge should the canal be designed if the capacity factor is 0.8? the time factor is 0.75 okay so discharge required for this area is simply coming as your 12,000 divided by 1000 which gives you 12 meter cube per second but there is a capacity factor so to get the actual quantity or actual discharge you have to divide this Q with your capacity factor and your time factor so the answer is coming as 12 divided by 0 0.8 into 0.75 which will gives you nearly 20 meter cube per second okay recurrence interval a and ranking of storm b is related with number of years y as well what is the formula for recurrence interval Recurrence interval A is given as number of year divided by the ranking of that storm that is B. Okay, so here Y can be expressed as A times B. Okay, sometimes here instead of Y we take Y plus 1. In that case the Y is equal to AV minus 1. But in this option there is no question of 1. So you can take D. The load carrying capacity of a pile driven with fall of 1 meter by 1.8 ton or 1800 kg drop hammer penetrating 3 mm in the last blow is. Well, to solve this problem, you have to know your engineer news record formula, ENR formula for finding out the carrying capacity or load carrying capacity of pile. What is that? The load carrying capacity is WH by your 6 times C plus S. Well, for drop hammer, the C is 2.5 centimeter and the value of S is the settlement in the last blow. Well, in the last blow, the settlement is 3 mm or 0 0.3 centimeter. Okay, what is W? W is the weight of your hammer that is your 1800 kg okay all the options are given in ton so you can convert it into 1.8 ton and H 
as C and A both are in centimeter. So H is the height of fall that is 1 meter or your H is 100 centimeter. Okay. So the capacity is coming as your 1.8 times 100 centimeter divided by 6 into 2.5 plus 0 0.3. Okay, so after calculation, you may get near about 100 ton. So A is correct one. Please check it yourself. Parlin on a truss. This question has been repeated multiple times. Okay, so there is nothing to discuss. So Parlin on a truss is designed for a bending moment of which one is correct? WL by 12? No, WL by 10. Okay, the term counterfold is used in design of which of the following? Of course, retaining wall. Okay, so if this is the retaining wall at this at the base, of course, the pressure act like this, and at the base, your bending moment is maximum. Okay, so of course, thickness demand is also maximum at the junction or near the base. That's why you provide a lateral support like this. This is known as your counterfold. Okay. And if you look into plan, if this is your retaining wall, okay, this is the plan area. These are the counterfold. These are provided at certain interval. Okay. So now this region is get supported by these two counterfold. For that, your bending moment is reduced. So C is correct one. The maximum deflection due to uniformly distributed load W unit length over inter span of cantilever of length L and flexural rigidity EI. Okay, so this is cantilever beam of length L and this is under the action of UTL that is W. You have to find out the maximum deflection or deflection at the tip what is delta. So we will use your momentary method. So for that first we have to draw the bending moment diagram that is cubic parabola and the magnitude at the support is WL square by 2 okay so to get the deflection at this point you have to take moment about this point of this M by EI diagram okay about this point so what is the moment the moment is first you have to find the area area is simply one third times L times height what is this height wl square by your 2 ei okay and what is the cg from this end this is 3 by 4 l okay so moment is coming as or deflection is coming as one third l times wl square by 2 ei okay into 3 by 4 l which gives you wl to the power 4 by your cancel 3 3 here 8 ei so c is correct one thermal power plant mostly produce so2 sulfur dioxide okay next standard beauty is taken for very easy one well this is taken for three days no not at all this is taken for your five days so big courses during answering these very easy questions because it is very natural that you spend very less amount of time to solve this type of questions and for that reason you tick the wrong answer okay the coagulant widely used for co treatment is alum water from the following sources is likely to be hard hard water is normally occur when you collect that from shallow well okay next in a refilling groin the axis of groin with respect to the river flow direction makes well quite memory based and as well as conceptual question so what is refilling groin let's say this is your river okay and this is the axis of flow so to provide refilling groin you have to construct this groin like this okay this is the refilling groin and the axis is this one so what is this angle you have to find the angle with the axis of groin or this axis with respect to the river flow direction this one 
so this angle is acute angle the balance depth of cutting of a canal is 1 in which volume of cutting is equal to volume of embankment okay that is why this is balance depth because in this case you need not to carry any extra volume of soil or whatever to build up that embankment and this balance depth method is very economical because the transportation cost is minimized in this case if w is the total load on a circular slab of radius r the maximum radial moment well this is a bit tough question and if you don't know the plate theory you cannot solve this or you cannot derive it in the examination hall okay and in this video i will not discuss the detailed method how to find this radial moment in case of circular slab but for right now you can if you can memorize this is the correct answer 3 w r square by 16 well this is for maximum radial moment okay if a member is likely to be subjected to torsion which of the following section is preferable of course i have already discussed why a box section is best for your torsion if you have missed for your better understanding here is well for torsion what happens this is torsion and if this is a circular section the torsion is the stress due to torsion is like this okay or if you take this axis in that case like this okay so for each and every axis there is stress but if you take an angle let's say this one okay now take this axis here who will carry that there is no one to carry the stresses in case of channel well for this axis torsion will be carried by this part of the member by this part of the member but in this side there is no one to carry the stresses and the same reason is also valid for i section only in case of box section or in case of a circular section in each and every direction there is some material to carry the stresses okay that's why for any torsional member the best section is either box section or circular section alum act as coagulant in Burmester theory displacement factor or settlement factor depends on well in Burmester theory in your transportation engineering this is used for design of your flexible pavement okay and the settlement in your flexible pavement is given by some formula but Burmester has introduced a factor that is f2 in that settlement and this factor is depend on the ratio of modulus of elasticity of pavement material and the subgrade layer so e2 by e1 and as well as your ratio of radius of the wheel as well as the depth where you are supposed to measure the settlement okay but in the option a only one factor is given so a is correct one batten in compound steel column are mainly provided to ensure unified behavior capacity of a wastewater tank for a flow of 80 liter per day per head from 250 user so total wastewater is given as 80 liter into 250 user per day okay liter per day and the capacity is 30 meter cube okay so detention period t is simply capacity divided by your discharge or inflow that is your 80 into 250 liter per day so this is given in meter cube and this is in liter so convert this into liter or this one in meter cube both are correct so this is coming as this much day but answer is given in hours so you have to multiply this with 24 hours okay and the detention period is coming as 
so this is correct and the protosia are already present there that's why this is called activated so from this options b seems to be correct one an advantage of cod test over bod test is this is quicker one okay so c is correct one to answer this type of question you should know already the answer then find out the options otherwise you may be confused because all the options seems to be quite similar and correct one okay but you have to answer the exact one more closest one consumptive use of water in crop consists of everything okay that means what are the requirement of crop it takes water for transpiration as well as some evaporation also occurred okay so contamination no sedimentation no salination no percolation have shut so d is correct one transpiration and evaporation you have to find out this particular word that is transpiration depth of hydraulic jam depend on the pi term called of course fraud number very easy one capillary rise is greater for well graded fine grained gap graded coarse grained of course capillary rise is maximum in case of your fine grain soil next question departure of a line is length is given with whole circle bearing is also given the length of the line is given as 70.7 meter with whole circle bearing as 330 degree you have to find out the departure okay so if this is the coordinate system this is your line and this is theta what is departure departure is your cosine component okay so this is departure and this sine component is known as latitude so here this length is given and what is l 70.7 degree what is wcb or whole circle bearing 330 degree so the line is somewhere here okay so if this is your 270 this is coming as your 60 degree and length is given as 70.7 so departure is your west this is east this is west okay so for west we take negative for east we take positive the departure is cosine component of this length that is 70.7 into cos 60 this one that is your half and this is 35.35 between option B and D, D is correct one because you have to take care of this sign also as this is in east, sorry, in west, you have to take minus sign. Okay. And now the bulking of sand is due to, this is easy one. Why this happens? Because when you add water, the water form a film around this sand particle. If these are the sand particle, the water form is film like this and two film simply repel each other due to surface tension okay that's why due to this repulsion the spaces in between the particle increases okay and the volume of the sand increases which is known as your bulking so option a is correct one i think today i stop here because i know you have become bored and we will continue from question number 72 to your 100 and then we will complete our 2003 series okay so till then do your best and work hard and what should i say best of luck